a different beside an equine, and we are a company that specialises in horse gut health. But not only do we manufacture supplements, we also have a very strong commitment to education because the more uh, that we as horse owners can learn about the importance of gut health and how we can improve it, the better it is for our horses. So today's video is going to talk about what is gut health, why is it important, but really focus on the role of what we call the microbiome and bacteria. As always, it's important to remember that without gut health, your horse is compromised in so many ways, and, and so we believe with no guts, there's no glory. So let's look at what we mean by gut, and it's all about looking at the whole gastrointestinal tract, and we know that that gastrointestinal tract, or gut, is made up of what we call the foregut that you can see in purple and the hindgut that you can see in red. And what's important to understand is that every part of the digestive, digestive tract has a role to play. And if one part is compromised, it means the next part can also be compromised, which can show up as so many problems in your horse. So what we're aiming for is great gut health. And what actually does that mean? Well, the term gut health is talking about how well your horse's gut is working in these areas. How will it digest and absorb feed? And that is dependent on so many things. If it's providing a barrier, we have over 30 metres of the gastrointestinal tract, which acts as one of the largest immune organs in your horse's body. It keeps a barrier and stops bad things entering your horse's system, because when that happens, the body has to mount an inflammatory response, and that can show up as so many things, colic or laminitis or skin conditions, etc. But importantly, and I guess a function of the gut we haven't really known as much about, but it's getting increasing interest, as it is also in human health, is the role of housing the trillions of bacteria who have such a major role to play. And bacteria form part of what we call the microbiome. Now, these three roles are all really important, and when they're compromised, they can impact on your horse in so many ways. So we're talking about the whole gut and the role that it plays. So why is it important? And you can see just a snapshot of a horse here before the owner started working with the horse's gut and before they started feeding for gut health and using one of our products, Digestive EQ, and then after. Now, this picture only shows, I guess, appearance. It doesn't actually explain also the change in feed conversion, the change in behaviour, food condition, all those other things. Look, I truly believe that the future of horse health and performance is around good gut health. And as a horse owner myself, had horses all my life, for me, it's been such a part of missing information. I always knew nutrition was important. I had no idea of just how important it was for so many reasons. And even that our horses had gut bacteria, so that's been you know, a really important thing to learn. What's incredible is that gut inflammation, and think back to that photo where you saw how big the gut is, is causing most of the problems that you are seeing and feeling. And inflammation will happen when we've got the balance between good and bad bacteria incorrect. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm in pain, I'm not the happiest person I can be. So let's think about our horses. If their gut, that whole gut is inflamed, imagine the pain and discomfort they're feeling. And it can show up in so many ways. Even girthiness can be an issue around gut inflammation. So when a horse is in pain and has gut inflammation and it impacts on so many areas, it's going to have such a huge negative impact on every aspect of the horse. So often our training problems that we're experiencing can actually come down to gut problems. So learning about gut health and how we can feed for gut health and how we can manage our horses for great gut health is truly the foundation for everything. It is so important. doesn't matter how big your horse is, whether it's a really small pony or a huge warm blood or an off-the-track thoroughbred or a race horse or a dress arch horse, it doesn't matter. All of them are completely reliant on all this microbiome. Now, they exist all throughout the horse's digestive tract. And in fact, there's emerging research looking at the role of 
gut bacteria even in the stomach and the potential link between gut bacteria in the stomach and leaky gut and gastric ulcers. So we're learning more and more. Even though, of course, we've had bacteria forever, we've only just started to focus on it. They really have a major role to play. And these bacteria or the microbiome, which includes other things such as yeast and fungi, help the horse's metabolism, their immunity. When the gut bacteria is not balanced, it can actually irritate the gut wall and can allow toxins to get through and create inflammation and pain. Now, we know in humans that gut bacteria absolutely determine hormones, which can impact on behaviour. You know, the, the gut is often known as the second brain, and in fact, some people think it's the first brain. The gut bacteria are almost telling the brain what to do rather than the other way around, and, and surely it's got to be true for our horses as well. So again, I'll say it over and over, a gut bacteria is the foundation for everything. We have to get it right. Now, I'm not saying there are not other factors in terms of a horse's behaviour, but if we get the gut bacteria and the balance right, right from the beginning, it gives us a great foundation to work from, and then we can work on other areas. Now, sadly, what we do know is that so many horses are suffering from what we call gastric ulcers, and also hindgut, hindgut or colonic ulcers. Now, it's interesting. With the stomach, because it's producing stomach acid all the time, and the top part of the stomach is actually not protected, ulcers can actually appear in the top part of the stomach, but also the bottom part, and that can cause major pain, and there are different grades of ulcers. Now, with the hindgut, we know that, yes, ulceration can happen. It's harder to identify but a horse can have inflammation and causing pain without having ulcers. So there is a bit of a difference there. But we need to take the pain away from our horses. How can they be the best that they can be if they are in pain? And for you as a horse owner, you just can't enjoy them more when you know that they're not putting on the weight they should be or they're anxious, they're not looking as well, they're constantly having issues around laminitis or colic. It's around gut health. Now there was a study done a while ago where they looked at some horses um, and they did an autopsy and they actually found that you know, more than half actually had colonic ulcers. Now these horses would have been under great stress so you know I'm not saying that that's, that's true of every single horse but the more horse owners I speak to I do understand that gut inflammation is actually really common in our horses and there will be some research coming out in the future showing that when you get a change in the gut bacteria, then you can actually shift what we call the pH of the gut and that's when you get pain and inflammation and it shows up in so many ways. So let's focus on these gut bacteria. Let's keep this really simple. Your horse's gut bacteria, like your own as a human, keep our horses alive. Now, good bacteria create up to 80% of your horse's energy. So that's energy for life, you know, for weight gain. B vitamins and the whole range of B vitamins, including B vitamins for appetite and behaviour and hoof condition, amino acids and vitamin K. And they also keep the gut intact. They keep that barrier in place so that bad things can't get through. And what they want, they want fibre. So we look at the fact that good bacteria create so many amazing byproducts and they want fibre that gives you a really clear indication of what we should be feeding our horses. Bad bacteria, on the other hand, will take starches. Now, the small intestine is where enzymes will digest fats, starches and proteins. We don't want start getting to the hind gut because then it feeds the bad bacteria. Now the gut's pretty clever because it does have a bit of a, a fallback mechanism where there are some bacteria that can convert the lactic acid from the bad bacteria and make it usable. But for too much start or too much bad bacteria, they just outcompete the good bacteria. And that's when you then get inflammation and less good bacteria to create the helpful byproducts. So then you may have a horse, it doesn't matter what you feed it, it just won't put on weight. Because you don't have enough good gut bacteria to turn that food into helpful byproducts. It's all about the gut bacteria. And it's the balance between good and bad that impacts on so many areas. 
And good gut bacteria are really sensitive to stress. And stress shows up in so many ways in our horses. It can be isolation, stabling, transport, competition. If they don't get fed enough fibre, that means the good bacteria can't thrive. And interesting, there's some research in rats where they show that if the bacteria, the good bacteria, don't get enough fibre, they will actually eat the gut lining. Now, that means you've suddenly got the, the gut, which is this huge barrier, suddenly being eroded, which is an entry point for bad things to get through. So the message is constantly feed your horse enough fibre, feed the good gut bacteria and manage gut health at all times. This balance is unbelievably, you know, important. It's, we want to have a gut that we call resilient so that regardless of the stress, the ability to bounce back is there. And that's why digestive EQ is something so many people add to their horse's diet because it's about supporting all the stages of digestion so the good bacteria can do the job they are meant to do. And, you know, we speak to so many customers regularly and the amount of horses that have gone from being stressy, anxious, poor doers, not great movers, you know, performance compromised to being completely transformed is incredible. But it's not just about adding supplements. It's about managing and feeding for gut health at every level. All the time, I am constantly thinking, am I feeding the right gut bacteria? Am I managing the stress associated that's going to impact on the gut bacteria. So if you have any questions or you'd like to know more, please contact us at info at poseidon-equine.com or visit our website. We have so many great ebooks on there that will provide further information. And you can also join our Facebook group or message us on our Facebook page.